What's up with it, man? It's your boy, Cousin P, a.k.a. Pressure CDs up for achievement. I'm on the rap shot. My little brother, they gave him 21 years. How many niggas wrote you since you've been down in the pen? Out of sight, out of mind, that's how it is. Now you locked up, they treat you like you're not close to kin. Them your friends, the niggas that you roll with, smoke with, and hustle with, and even fuck hoes with. That's how the game goes. Abandonment, family standing in your corner, that's all, that's it. And your bitch, the one you used to fuck with, she... Cousin P is a local artist from Detroit, Michigan. Um, I've been out here for a while. Sacramento's my second home. Um, and I'm just a real ass person, pretty much. I mean, down to earth type dude. That's Cousin P. Uh, Perceptions Reality is my first album. Um, I put out a lot of mixtapes like um, Purse First Ass Last, Born Real Not Perfect, stuff like that. Everybody keeps saying put out an album. I'm just doing just to say I got an album out. Right now, I'm still in the, you know, the process of building a, a fan base. I always feel like, you know, what's the point of dropping an album and putting a hell of money behind it and you still don't have a fan base? Right. Mixtapes is free music, you get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Pass that out and build up your fan base just to the point to where you have people support it. But I do have a fan base, not in Sacramento, okay. scattered around, like what I've been doing for like the last two or three years of a Facebook when MySpace was popular. I used to mail out my mix uh, tapes and tell people to take pictures. So I got like three or four notebooks, to, uh, three subjects with uh, full of addresses from people from here to Canada to the UK, you name it. So now what I'm doing is now that I'm working on my album, I got the download cards. The album's due to drop on May 8th, hopefully. So when it drops, everybody address that I have, I'm gonna mail them a download card. Like you go to iTunes, the album for 10, but since you've been supporting me, you get $3 off with the download card. So hopefully that works out for me. But it's my first album, so I have no expectations. I'm just happy to do it. And I'll start off like this. I got people from Detroit that heard about this shit that don't know nothing about the Sacramento scene. That is, you know, because you know, like Task One in that era was more like lyricism and that pure hip hop, you right. know what I'm saying? I'm more on like the gangsters and streets. Okay. It's two different things, but I got folks hitting me up like, nigga, y'all got niggas in Sacramento still in lyrics, woo, 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 woo. You know, just clouded in a sense. Right. I said, no, nah, man, that was just on some, I don't understand, but the thing that kind of pissed me off is I read the comments and you have people trying to defend this dude. Yeah. Bro, he's a motherfucking fraud, Right. period. I don't give a fuck who don't like it. You see me in the streets, get at me. You a motherfucking fraud. It's one thing to say, okay, still a bar. You feel what I'm saying? You said right. you said clean punchline. You feel me? I may take it. I may not shot you out. But that's cool. You right. feel what I'm saying? Nigga, you stole a whole motherfucking song. You feel me? And then niggas paying you to do songs and you stealing shit. Right. You feel what I'm saying? That's some whole ass shit. I don't I don't know what part of the game that is. I said maybe in hip hop world over there, you get passive. If that was some gangster shit, I'd be kicking in those. I don't right. give a fuck. And then I seen an apology, nigga. <laughs> what pissed me off on that was, okay, you doing angle shots and all this other shit. Fuck apologizing to the fans. <laughs> Fuck that. Apologize right. to the niggas you took their money. Exactly. Apologize to Team Backpack. You know what I'm saying? You make excuses while I was fat, I'm a nerd, and I was depressed. Nigga, fuck off. Who cares about that? Exactly. You know what I'm saying? I, at force, and I can understand it says, okay, not feeling accepted. You feel what I'm saying? That's fine today, but that still don't give you an excuse to steal someone else's shit. Then you say, okay, well, I felt like, you know, it was so much demanding, you know what I mean? And you, I'm like, it, it's no way around it, man. I'm like, I'm like, that dude's a flat out fraud. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. But the crazy part about Sacramento, though, if this nigga was to make a comeback, which I seriously doubt it, you feel what I'm saying? He was to blow up a lot of motherfuckers in Sacramento and jump back on his dick. Yeah. Straight up. You feel what I'm saying? A lot of people who <laughs> disagree get mad. I've been out here for a long time and I just see how motherfuckers move. If this nigga was to blow up tomorrow and be on BT, same niggas that's hating that nigga gonna be all on his dick. Like, exactly. right, nigga, I was rooting for you. You feel what I'm saying? So I just feel like that's just code number one. You a fraud, man. Like, you get some love on that note. And, and my main thing was, I met him once at a Penny video shoot. Uh, cool dude, hella funny, you feel what I'm saying? I'm listening to his verses and I'm thinking like this dude, if anybody out of Sacramento got a chance of making it, I'll put it on task one, you feel what I'm saying? Just based on lyrics there, energy, you feel what I'm saying? But then you're stealing something. But even though he stole lyrics, 
the performance and the stuff that we see, that was all him. It's oh, one, you feel what I'm saying? It's right. one thing to be a rapper, but everybody can't be a star. Right. You get where I'm coming from? So, the shit that they we seen before. in love with the star. You feel what I'm saying? So, and, and the lyrics kind of came with you, it. You get what I'm saying? So, in a sense like that, you can't take that away from that dude. Right. You feel what I'm saying? The dudes that we seen performing, that's that dude. You feel what I'm saying? Even though he spent somebody else's lyrics. And I know anybody can rap. That's why they had ghostwriters, but everybody can't be a star. So, right. it's like a half and half yeah. thing. But, nigga, you stole right. somebody's shit. It wasn't a ghostwriter you paid for, nigga. You literally stole some shit. It's kind of smart about it. Took some shit from the East Coast instead of the West Coast. Man. You know what I'm saying? You get no love for that, man. Like, flat out, I don't give a fuck what nobody say. And if you got any real friends around you that's still balking for you, that's some more that shit. They ain't no true friends. I don't give a fuck. So, Task One, if you watching this, nigga, hang up the mic, bro. I like Michelle K. Because she hella ratchet. I like ghetto too. I'm not even gonna lie. Like, I mean, I like, she, she seemed like a bitch you'll see at the grocery store with a flip flop. So, like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Get the devil smokes and leave the whole and all this shit. You feel what I'm saying? Everybody got about five kids running how she seemed like. Exactly. You feel what I'm saying? Everybody else, I'm not really into all those diva hoes. I'm like, more, she seemed like a more down to earth type person. And, and that's what I'm into. You feel what I'm saying? Down to earth type people, because that's how I am. So, we should okay. Night with her, you know what I mean? Shit, fuck the shit out of her. She laughed this shit. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Straight up, you know what I mean? You got ass, though. You know what I mean? I can't even lie about my mama. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I'm married, though, but I'm fake. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I think for like Dirt Dig out here, uh, I think that's like about the only other artist, and most of the other artists is like people like people never really heard of, like Young Versus, uh, Mario, people that my day one niggas like back home in Detroit. I don't really, I reach out to a lot of artists, you know, just trying to get that unity thing going on, but I'm not gonna pay a person to do a feature. Wow. You feel what I'm saying? And you ain't got no buzz, and we in the same boat. You ain't selling out shows. You ain't headlining no shows. You got about 300 views on YouTube. So do I. You, <laughs> me paying you 150 for a verse. How's that gonna benefit wow. me? You feel what I'm saying? It's about unity and trying to come up with a hit song and you know and prosper off that. But for the most artists, I reach out. You know what I mean? And if you charge, I can't tell you, hey, you shouldn't charge. I just look at it as it won't benefit me, and I just. Keep on pushing, you know what I'm saying? Like I say, I can't tell the next man what he should charge, you know what I'm saying? But then I always feel like, okay, I'm like, I know my music tight, not to sound cocky, right. and I know eventually I'm gonna prosper, so when time comes, man, you started that money relationship, so right. if I get to a certain point and you wanna do music with me, you already opened that door, so right. give, me what, give me what I'm asking for, we can't do shit, you know what I'm saying? You feel what I'm saying? It's like, for you, it is what it is. I support Cousin P, uh, Cousin P, honestly, if you like my music, you know what I mean, I ain't gonna say support me just based on, if you listen to my music, you like my movement, you like the type of person I am in general, then support me, you feel what I'm saying, and if you don't, then don't, you know what I mean, that's my main thing, if you listen to my music, whether it's on Facebook, iTunes, I got a lot of free stuff out, you can go to Chevron right there on uh, Swan Road and East Parkway, I have CDs there all the time, they free. I mean, listen to my music. My motto is listen to the first three songs. If you don't like what you hear, fling that motherfucker out the window. Straight up, it's either you're going to hate me or you're going to love me. And the reason why I tell people that is, is not to be on no cocky shit, though. But if I give you a CD at a show or you get a hold of my CD and you don't like it and you got it in the car, and you hop in that motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? You get in the car, you want this shit like, who this is? First, you're going to say, oh, some weak-ass nigga. No. Throw it out the one. I risk for a motherfucker to pick it up off the ground. You know what right. I'm saying? Then for you to tarnish my name right. before somebody get a chance to listen to it. That's and, and that's just being real. So listen to this the first three songs. You don't like it. Fling it out the window. That's what I do to the next artist. If I don't like your shit. I did that a few times. I did a you know, with the bootleg CDs type shit. I'm like, I know your shit ain't massive. I'm going to give you one. Like, what's your title song number seven? Okay. Exactly. That's where I, and that's where I come at. So any artist that's watching this, man, and you need CD pressed up, Get at your boy Cousin P. I do 30 for 30, 40 for 40, 50 for 50. You know what I mean? There's no reason why you should be walking around with a blue leg CD. Come holla at me. If you ain't got $30, mm -hmm. nigga, give it up. Uh, I think May 14th or 13th, um, uh, opening up for Drew Hill at Harlow's. Wow. That's like the biggest, you know, I'm a Drew Hill fan. I don't give a fuck. You feel what I'm saying? I didn't try to make hella babies off their songs. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But my main thing is I try to capture the crowd I'm always out there is the females. Dudes, I rap to on the album or mixtape, get the mixtape. But the song that I put on a promote is either the drop knowledge or the capture the female. Because I know if I can get a show with 100 females, that's going to bring 200 dudes and about 50 of them going to pay to get in and the rest going to hang around in the parking lot until the bitches come out. <laughs> so, you know, I'm trying to target the female. So that's like my biggest.
OG. Uh, show right so far, right now, so okay. far. No, and I take it back. Uh, June, uh, Juneteenth, June twentieth. Uh, I'm out there, Fresno, uh, performing out there and talking to the youth and stuff out there. So okay. I'm really looking forward to doing that. You know what I mean? So that's that's probably gonna be like the biggest thing for me. Those two. Okay. That's pretty much it.